Hey guys, uh, tonight we're making pork schnitzel with potatoes and roasted vegetables. So basically, uh, what you need in your, for your HelloFresh uh, meal is two small bowls, a large pot for boiling things, uh, a pan, and a baking sheet. And we're gonna put the temperature to 400 degrees on the oven. And what came with the HelloFresh box is we've got your pork, we've got a squash, a little bottle of balsamic vinegar, parsley, a lemon, some potatoes, tomatoes, and panko. And there's also a sour cream that's in the refrigerator. Um, I also have a knife for chopping. Oh, and you need a zester for the lemon. Um, okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to cut up the potatoes and we're going to put them into bite-sized pieces and then we're going to put them in the pot with about um, a little over two inches above where the potatoes are, um, come to a boil, uh, and cook 10 to 15 minutes until they're um, soft. And then we're going to drain the water. Uh, don't forget to add um, salt to the, the pot there. So let's just get this done. potatoes in the pot. See I covered it um, for about with about two inches of water above the potatoes. Uh, vigorous with the salt and we're going to make this come up to a boil and then cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay in here I have made the dressing. So I'm supposed to whisk together two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of the balsamic vinegar, um, and a large drizzle of olive oil, and then salt and pepper. Uh, we finally come to a point where <laughs> HelloFresh, I guess, made a mistake. Um, we didn't receive any Dijon mustard. We had some here at the house, uh, so I used that, but I looked and there was no little jar of Dijon mustard like we had gotten previously. So there you go. So I whisked that together. And that's it. Set it. Okay, so now we're going to prep all the rest of the vegetables. So I'm going to zest the lemon, cut it in half, and then cut one of those halves into wedges. I'm going to have the tomatoes, I'm going to chop up the parsley, and then I'm going to uh, chop up the squash lengthwise and then slice into half moons. So let's get that done.
What it calls for next is to take the two pork chops, put them under some plastic wrap, wrap and then hammer them with the mallet um, until they're about a half an inch thick. You put them on the baking sheet, we're going to cover it in sour cream and then the um, panko breadcrumb mixture, which I will show you right now. In here I've placed the panko breadcrumbs, I've placed the parsley, and a drizzle of olive oil and salt and pepper, mixed it up. So now we're going to spread cream, uh, not cream cheese, <laughs> sour cream on the pork chops and then coat this on them. So basically what I've done here is I've taken the teeny tiny packet of sour cream that came with it and I'm just going to spread it all over the one pork chop and then the other. Try and get it as even as possible. Go to this one. All right, now let's go put the red car mixture on top of it. As you can see, I placed the panko mixture onto the pork and I'm pressing it so that it stays down. Then we're going to stick it in the 400 degree oven for eight minutes. And then we're going to turn on the broiler, the broiler, not the boiler, um, up to 500 for two minutes so that it gets crispy. And there's olive oil on the pan. So I'm just gonna stick this in the oven. In this pan, I've added oil to my pan. Now we're going to add the squash and cook to for five to six minutes, then the tomatoes, then the potatoes back in here with the dressing. So I'll show you how to do all that here. But first, we're gonna add the squash. Alright, so that's five to six minutes with the squash. As you can see, the squash is all kind of crispy, and I've turned on the broiler and switched over the pork to a couple of minutes, and now we're going to add the tomatoes. And we're going to cook this another one to two minutes. Okay, so I put the potatoes in the marinade um, vinaigrette thing um, that I made earlier into here. Mixed it all together with salt and pepper and just cooked it down for a couple of minutes. And that's how the pork turned out. And now we're going to plate it and eat it. And I will be back to show you what it looks like and to give a review. So here's what it looks like. Uh, you're supposed to garnish with the lemon zest and uh, the wedge of lemon. So I'm going to eat it and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so this meal was pretty good. It was better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was a little iffy about the marinade thing that they were going to put over the potatoes and the squash, but it turned out to be really good. I thought it was going to be too, like, vinegary, um, but it wasn't. It, it was just the right amount of vinegary. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, the pork was good. I kind of wish there was some kind of, like, something else to that panko mixture thing. I don't know. I mean, it was crunchy and crusty and everything. I don't know, maybe I wish that there was something with the sour cream that was mixed together with something. I'm not sure what exactly, uh, but 
it was good. Um, it didn't have a whole lot of flavor, though. I mean, parsley to me doesn't really have a flavor anyway. Anyway, um, so I enjoyed it. Um, I ate everything. So I would probably make it again. I think I'd maybe tweak the recipe a tiny bit. Um, I did, though, enjoy all of the vegetables and the potatoes and everything. Um, so yeah, uh, join us in a couple more days and we'll have yet another recipe from HelloFresh. See you guys later.